I do indeed have something fluffy to show you whilst Brent continues his search for shadow. In this case, a female waterbuck making the most of the nutrients around a termite mound. Now, yesterday, Fat and I found the most extraordinary, or had the most extraordinary waterbuck sighting, a female that had obviously had a very narrow escape from some kind of predator. She was drenched in blood all the way around her ear, down the back of her neck. We discussed it at length, and I obviously went to Brent for his opinion on that particular injury, and he said he thinks, I dismissed it, I said I didn't think it was dogs, wild dogs, I thought that it was a bigger predator. However, Brent said apparently with the larger creatures like the waterbuck, one of the, the sort of the dog hunting techniques is to try and reach up and grab them by the ears. Now in that case, it may well, because we were furiously racing to try and catch up with the wild dogs that we found tracks of, in that case it may well have been an injury inflicted by the wild dogs themselves, and the waterbuck cow in question had made a very fortunate escape. So an a very intriguing sighting, and one that I learned a great deal from. And now I've stopped at this herd of waterbuck just to see whether or not there's any sign of that poor female, who, by the way, I think would be absolutely, she'll be absolutely fine, she'll survive that injury. Animals tend to be far more resilient than us as human beings. But there is no sign of her in this particular group. All of them look whole and intact, apart from the odd flea-bitten ear,